Nova Scotia Premier Stephen McNeil is getting ready to step down from his post as leader of the province's Liberal Party. McNeil's been in politics for 17 years. He's been Premier for seven. Tomorrow, the Liberal Party will elect a new leader and, in turn, a new Premier. McNeil says his decision to step down came before the pandemic. He's going to hold his last COVID-19 press conference this afternoon. But in the meantime, he joins me now. Premier Stephen McNeil, good morning to you. So glad you could be with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. How are you feeling knowing this experience is coming to an end? Oh, you know, people have been asking me that. I, I've been saying I, I feel numb, really. Uh, this has been a, a long time, uh, and I'm looking forward to the next chapter, but uh, I'm really enjoying the job. I still enjoy the job. Uh, so I'm sure two or three weeks from now, I'll probably really process what's happening. Yeah, once it sinks in. So if you still enjoy it, why not stick around? Well, this is not a this is not a career. This is not if you get an opportunity to uh, and a privilege really to serve the community you live in. I had done that for 17 years, and I've been the premier now for seven. We had a clear path to a third term, uh, but it's just time. It's time for the province. It's time for me, and uh, uh, I'll start a third career. We'll see what's next. All right. Well, while the federal government, some of your provincial counterparts are getting slammed for their COVID-19 response. Nova Scotia is considered a shining example of how to do it right. The provinces in the second wave brought the cases down to nothing. I understand there's only one person in hospital right now. Schools and the economy open. How did you do it? Well, at the very beginning, we aggressively locked down our economy. Uh, and the, you know, really, we shut businesses completely. Uh, all the service sector from restaurants to bars to hairdressing salons, uh, they were all closed until we got a real understanding of, of the virus and, and how we could function in our economy. Uh, we brought in face masks, uh, face masks a lot earlier than uh, most provinces. In July, we started wearing those. Uh, and the public had bought into uh, public health protocols. And if we ever, and if we'd seen a, uh, you know, a surge or something, we would again close it down. Uh, you, you may know that over the holidays, in our in our Halifax, our capital city, uh, we closed bars and restaurants uh, because we had seen some signs that the, there was becoming some community spread through the uh, bar scene here. So we just completely shut them down uh, and uh, put restrictions in other parts of the province uh, because our our fundamental belief is if you don't have good public health, you don't have good economic health. Uh, and uh, as as we as people took the messages that we were sending them. Uh, and and then started following the public health protocols. Uh, we they they we got by, it. and that was really was Nova Scotians embraced the changes that we're making, and uh, uh, and so far so good. And you're departing at a time when the vaccine supply is limited in this country. How do you feel about the rollout in Nova Scotia? Have you uh, seen your province set back, um, and by how much? So, you know, obviously, there's been adjustments in the shipments. If you go back, when the federal government announced that, they were really talking about shipments by quarter, not so much by every week. Uh, so we, we, we believe we'll get caught up. But what we've done as a province on the front end of this is, so we're looking at different ways to deliver the vaccine. We originally set up an eight uh, uh, vaccination places at our regional hospitals, so healthcare workers would come in from all around that particular region to be vaccinated. <clears throat> We've set up, and we're going to open uh, on the 22nd of February, a, a clinic where 80-plus-year-olds living in the community can come in and be vaccinated as a trial run uh, to be able to test our model so that we can then spread that across the province when we get more vaccine. We're working with the doctor's office and a pharmacist to try to build one of those models. The number one issue for us, as, we're, as for, for a province, is actually making sure that when the vaccine gets here, we can deliver it. Uh, and we, from the very beginning, have looked at how can we do this in, in, in different ways. We did the same thing with testing. Uh, we had uh, fixed structure testing. We have mobile vans where we can do testing. Uh, we, we have pop-up clinics we're using testing. Uh, so we just believe if we can create a system of delivery, which is, has, a, has a, a number of uh, different ways to deliver the service, uh, we'll meet the needs of our citizens, and that's what we're doing right now in this time with with COVID. The other thing that, or with vaccines, sorry, and the other thing that we did here, if we gave you your first shot, we saved the second shot. Mm -hmm. So there's no Nova Scotian waiting for their second shot because we don't have vaccine. Uh, we wanted to make sure that if you we gave you your first shot, we would uh, have your second shot 
until we could be guaranteed that supply would be consistent along the way. Right. And just quickly, Premier, as you depart again, um, perhaps your biggest regret as Premier. And based on that, what advice would you give to whoever's going to be in the seat next? I don't have, you know, regrets, but I do things differently, sure. Uh, I wish I could have had labor peace easier than it, than we did. Uh, you know, we had some farmer care changes. I wish that we could have done those over again. Uh, my advice to whoever is going to uh, follow me will be uh, trust your instincts, uh, believe in who you are, have a core. Uh, people will respect you, even if they don't agree with your decision. They'll respect you if you believe you're doing it for them and the right reasons. Uh, and uh, this province is in good shape. Uh, be optimistic about the future. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing what you do next, and we appreciate the time that you have spent with us this morning. Nova Scotia Premier Stephen McNeil, good luck to you. Thanks so much.